Hello knowledge seekers, today is the second part of the high pressure arterial pipeline video and this is the biggest and the important part of this video. We will be discussing today the basic tools and equipments required and the thread makeup that means the tightening of thread connecting the pipes and installation procedure for RTR pipeline. Let us start. Here are the list of basic tools and equipment which we will be discussing with some photographs for your better understanding. And the ranges we are using uh, for holding the pipe during tightening are strap wrenches, chain tongue and power tongue. And we have some accessory tools which are dope brush, pipe roller and pipe stands. Let us go in detail a little bit. The wrenches as in the photo you can see their application also. All yellow box joints are designed with an extra thickness at the end called pipe upset. While using to make up of a pipe joint all wrenches shall be applied only on the upset area. Strap wrench. Strap wrenches are distribute the torque circumferentially and recommended to help prevent placing too much torque on the connection. For best result when using strap wrench the strap should be free from grease, thread lubricant etc. Chain tongue you can see in the picture. It can be used in such a way that the nose of the wrench does not point load the pipe to prevent the damage. Here is the application of power tongue, power tongue as the name suggests it is operated by power, hydraulic power. Power tongues are used to generate torque values which are difficult to achieve manually. So when the preliminary tightening is done, power tongue is being placed for making the final few turns to end the tightening. If used correctly, power tongues provide a more consistent makeup versus manual makeup because the torque is uniform over here. There are two types of brushes commonly used. Dope brush for applying Teflon thread compound. How? I we will discuss later. Stiff bristle brush to clean the threads. Left one is the dope brush and right one is the stiff bristle brush. Two types of stands are commonly used to support the pipe during joint makeup. Pipe jack or adjustable pipe stand and fixed pipe stand or hard plastic or rubber. The manufacturer recommends using a TF15 thread compound. Of course, each manufacturer has different recommendation and the Teflon tape for all liquid applications. Teflon tape compound contains 15% minimum Teflon, 60 to 120 mesh Teflon particle size, powder is unacceptable. The lubricant must be API standard oil filled thread lube composition. The lubricant should not be thickened with abrasives, clay, etc. Store the Teflon thread compound between 10 degree to 50 degree centigrade. Keep away from direct sunlight and frost. The last two points are very important. Teflon tape should be 25 mm wide and 0.1 mm thick and shall contain 100% Teflon. So there are two Teflon thing. One is Teflon thread compound and another one is Teflon tape. We will see the use while we will be discussing in detail of thread making up. Thread makeup. Thread makeup are two types. One is integral joint which is also termed as threaded joint and couple joint. Pipe installation for integral joint should always start from the downstream size as in the photo. Direction of the flow is mentioned over here. Upstream and downstream is also mentioned for your better understanding in the schematic diagram. For integral joint flow direction should be from male joint which is called pin into the female which is integral box. So this is a box pin joint. In case of the line containing only coupling installation then it is not integral joint. Then the direction of installation is not important due to the coupling symmetry. Thread makeup and installation procedure. Remove the thread connectors and inspect all the threads for integrity or cleanliness. Use a dry dope brush or a plastic stiff bristle brush to remove any dirt or sand from the 
threads. Apply Teflon tape to the pin threads. Use only 1 inch wide and 0.1 mm thick Teflon tape as discussed before. You can see the application in the photo. Apply two wraps under tension around the pin thread in a clockwise direction while pulling it into the thread form. Start from the last thread on the pin face proceeding to the vanish point of the larger body end of the thread leaving approximately two threads visible and then returning to the last thread of the pin face. Overlap the tape slightly to ensure full coverage on every revolution. Apply TF15 compound to both the box and the pin threads with a thread compound brush. We discussed before about the brush. Start the application on the box first. Apply enough thread compound to half fill the root of the threads. Apply the thread compound on the pin clockwise direction to ensure that the Teflon tape is not unwound during assembly. Insert the pin thread into the box thread and manually rotate until the hand tight position is reached while checking the correct alignment. Use a strap wrench to obtain the hand tight position. Pin alignment can either be achieved manually or facilitated by means of a power lifting equipment as shown in the picture. Once the connection is satisfactorily made to the hand tight position, stop and make a quick inspection of all the elements of the immediate operation. If everything is satisfactory, mark a line across the connection whereby the number of rotations can be clearly counted as the pin penetrates to the box. Power turn rotation of the pin into the box beyond the dry fit tight position, power tongue shall be used for power turns. The last thread on the pin end shall just enter inside the box at final position of the thread makeup. The position is called the power tight or final standoff. Tolerance for power tight standoff is plus minus one thread only. During the makeup process, a few scratch marks may occur on the pipe OD due to the action of the tongue on the pipe surface. This is quite normal and does not affect the performance of the system. This is for your information. For assembling elbow and other fittings, depending on the availability of lifting equipment and thread size, elbows can be installed in two ways, directly on the existing pipeline or make up the elbow with a nipple. Keep elbow direction as per drawing. In case of a major misalignment, do not over torque. The connections on the previous install joint can be slightly tightened until correction alignment is achieved. After achieving the correct alignment, installation can continue from the other side of the elbow. Use a similar technique for the installation of T's. Installation of elbows and T's may require concrete thrust blocks to hold their movement. Flange connection. The flange must be installed with a spiral wound gasket to seal the connection for the flange joint. The recommended gasket by manufacturer are Flexitalic or Garlock brand. ANSI B 16.5 standard graphite field with stainless steel ring. So that's all for the thread makeup and installation procedure for RTR pipeline. Signing off today. If you like, please subscribe my channel and share it to your friends. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.